<clears throat> what's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Chad. I'm coming back with the next uh, episode of Critical Thinking. Uh, this time around, we're going to go ahead and touch on that uh, hero, um, all aspects of the hero here, um, just to kind of give you all an update on, you know, what it's all about since, again, like I pointed out with uh, one of the first videos I made, um, it's a really, really good game overall, but um, there's some places where um, uh, the game is kind of lacking as far as just kind of uh, understanding, interpreting of certain things and uh, explaining certain things. So um, we'll go ahead and go over that real quick, and then we'll probably throw in a little gameplay there. So we'll go ahead and start with the first three um, uh, attributes that the you know, hero is based on. we got the leadership, we got the health, and the attack. Um, as you could guess, you know, the attack is the amount of melee damage you're going to deal. Um, and the type of melee damage or melee damage, whatever you want to call it, is normal damage. It's not blunt, it's not piercing, but normal, okay? Um, your health is your health, obviously your hit points and whatnot. And then the leadership, which is one of the things that I didn't know uh, from the get-go. It's basically the amount of morale you have and then the amount that it increases uh, during the battle. So the more leadership you have... The, the quicker it regenerates and the more total morale you can have, you know, so um, really, really important um, to, you know, have that up as you, you know, need morale to um, spawn units and units are going to aid you in trying to complete the, uh, the taking down of their castle. So um, as far as the um, primary skills, that's going to cover the, uh, the main or the main statistics or my primary skills, but as far as secondary stuff goes, um, you know, secondary stuff that you're going to see on the individual, um, you know, items similar like this. Uh, you're going to find um, shields with certain damage types, like uh, my, sh my armor here it has fire. Um, you're going to see damage, if I can find one here. I don't think I have any. Um, I think I sold them all. But if they, they'll have in the bottom right here, they'll have a type of damage, maybe poison, maybe fire. You can get it from there. Um, you can get boost to leadership. In addition, you can get boost to uh, scream, and I don't have any boots that do that or, or whatever. But the scream is going to be an exclamation point where that little wing is. Um, this particular wing means uh, speed, so you can um, get an attribute to increase the amount of speed you get. As you can see, the ones that have the gold emblem that increases the percentage of the gold that you get, and I believe those are the main the main ones. Um, um, you will, you might be able to find um, health, damage, and or leadership stats on the secondary statistics in addition to primary. Um, it just kind of depends on the rarity of the item. So, um, it just kind of depends on what you get. So, as far as what kind of like stats and whatnot that you're going to find from your um, main stuff. Okay, the crown is going to have the uh, leadership as well as the cape. The chest is going to have health. Okay. The weapon and the gloves are going to have the attack, and uh, that pretty much covers the main items. The three things on the bottom, the belt, the ring, the boots, they're not going to have any primary statistics. You're just going to have secondary stats, okay? Let's see what else we got to talk about. Um, I think that was pretty much it. Um, you know, just know that your hero it's kind of funny because in summoner's war there's a there's a there's a funny quote that goes that goes around as they say hp is king right um when it comes to certain types of arena defenses and offenses well in this one it's kind of sounds redundant right but it's king is king right the king is your main source of uh dps um he's the one that's going to be casting the spells he's the one that's going to be casting the you know buffs and the heals why not to keep it on so he's he's the primary thing so your goal at the end of the day, should be to try to upgrade that king as much as possible. Now, um, we all know that when, um, I believe it's uh, Throne Room 2 and Level 5, when you reach Experience Level 5 and then Throne Room 2, you get the opportunity to utilize this um, shop here, guys. And so, um, you know, this is going to offer a variety of things, um, normal item, magic item, all, all sorts of items, whether you buy it with gems, purple crystals, or the... Or the gold, you can pick up stuff here. Now, there is a lot of uh, speculation as far as you know what types of stuff you should buy. 
Um, you know, obviously, if you do find something at a relatively good price with gold, um, you know, buy it and, and buy it on something that has a green, you know, highlight there. If you take a look there, they'll say green, and it will say uh, it'll it'll show you the increase of what you know what you currently have. Whereas this, it doesn't show anything green because I have a better weapon. So make sure that you're buying something that is an actual upgrade, not just something that looks cool. In addition, um, at the early stages of the game, again, I know that I'm. 37 now, so I haven't had an opportunity to discuss too much stuff in the early gauges, but, um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of speculation as far as should you buy items um, as you go. Um, I believe that you should, um, if and only if the increase of the stat is, you know, anywhere from, I would say, at least 20% of the original, so um, I don't know what, what's 20% of... 2000. That's going to be what 400, right? So if this was 2387, okay, and the increase showed a 400 plus 400 increase, I would probably go for it, um, and I'd probably go out of my way to get it. Um, only thing is, you know, you're going to be put, you know, you can you can buy something, and you might find something to justify. Like maybe maybe you find boots. That's not, you know, boots. If you get a percentage on boots, it really doesn't matter. Or 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 boots that have gold stats or boots that have speed stats, you know, some of those things not really going to matter. Those are going to just be great to have in general, but as far as the overall primary stats, when we're talking about leadership, health, or attack, I like a 20% increase in my stats when thinking about upgrading, and that's just my number. That's what I like. I mean, everyone's different. Reason being is because I don't I don't make the I don't make it too high is because um, you know, as we level, the better items get offered in the item shop, so I do want to upgrade my stuff when I can because obviously I only have so many you know, workers and, and even though I can grind my butt off because this game allows you to continue to grind even after your bread is gone um, you know you can you can continue to grind just watch videos and keep on grinding saving up money um, you know might as well grind up get gold and, and buy new items to upgrade your guy because if that's going to make it easier for you to gain gold then yeah I'm all for it but again um, I'm talking about buying stuff with gold here I'm not talking about dropping gems on stuff because that'll just get too costly and for me uh, the gems early on should be focused on the getting the third skill the third unit and the you know maybe the third worker but the third skill third excuse me the third spell by far is going to be um, the most crucial um, update here so uh, overall I think that's kind of where I want to go with this video let's go ahead and finish it off with a little gameplay see what we can find. Uh, we recently got some upgrades in our base or in our units here. We got uh, uh, we did get the Arbiter and our heal is a little bit higher up. Uh, it's level 3. I think I am going to actually go back to the... actually no 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 we'll go... kinda of depends on the base that we find here. Oof! That is a very swiggly base. I, I actually, I'm really like I almost want to try it and fail because um, the the base is so nicely spaced out. Take a look at its uh, barricades. No, it's nicely spaced out. It's going to cost many, many uh, spells to um, you know get through that. Um, I like it. I like it. So let's go ahead and run it. We're we're definitely not going to um, take this down, but it looks like they're primary uh, towers are frost towers so I'm probably going to be sticking to mostly range stuff uh, the arbiters and the cannons and then I'll throw in a couple of paladins there just to kind of put as a filler but going to be utilizing a lot of range um, those arbiters have really good range really good DPS and um, I'm looking forward to using them so looking forward to upgrading them too so I'm just going to take my time as I'm killing this stuff since the, even though it's kind of a waste of a spell, just gonna go ahead and just gonna go ahead and get it go. I know that I need to, I can't really um, waste too much time. Let's go ahead and get this sword right here. Try to notice that I try to get myself in the middle there. Um, the sword rain, the biggest attribute about the sword rain, in addition to its damage, um, is the fact that it's. It's so, it's, it's range is so good, so. Let's go ahead and call these units over. Come on, baby. 
want to get that heel off. Ooh, that's not good. That's the bad thing about the um, about the uh, the cannons. If they're in range of something, they will um, go ahead and attack it, which could be good, but it slows us down. I need them to follow me, so that's why I utilize the. Um, oops, I'm not gonna go for it. We're good. We're good. Keep it rolling here. Keep it rolling. Get close enough to hit those units. It's going to come back. Spawn more units, get that scream going. The scream, remember, it takes off the um, takes off any kind of slow. Always coming back, trying to heal my units. I'm gonna throw in a cannon there. I think I lost the cannon on the way. Running really short of time, so I gotta push, I gotta be a little bit more aggressive here. Waiting till I get into the middle so I can try to hit all three towers here. Good, good, good. Scream it up. Oh, sword rain that shit. Oh, forgot about these towers here. It's gonna be close, real close. Real, real close, come on. Come on, hero. Come on, buddy, there we go. Get that heal off. Okay, no towers there. I think we missed a tower somewhere, guys. Because I think when you get all the towers, you get the two trophies. Oh, no, did we get it? Nice. Nice. All right. So, I believe that is it, guys. We got the 24% uh, bonus in the um, in the gold. And um, we, we will take it home. So, it looks like we failed miserably on the treasure chest. Um, we'll go ahead and close it off right there. Um, like I said, I'm going to be bringing small segments in with a little bit, get a, a little bit of gameplay. Um, for those that are veterans of the game, by all means, um, like I said, I'm very, very trying to work my best as far as um, trying to get this, uh, you know, being able to uh, play with commentary. It's a totally different ball game, very, very hard to control and manage. Um, it's, I feel like I play a lot smoother game, but, you know, anything that you notice right off the bat that I can change and adapt, be more than welcome to go ahead and put, uh, put your comments in the comment section below. I'll be looking forward to your feedback so I can get a little bit better. Um, I do watch all the uh, top three YouTubers in this uh, game, so I see that I see the things that they do, and I see the things that I'm attempting to do that they do, but I can't. I'm not doing it. I'm just not, just not smooth yet. But it, it'll it'll get there, baby. It'll get there. No sweat. No sweat. All right. So I guess that's it, guys. It's your boy Childish Childish Plays finishing out the what are we at? Third episode. I think it's third episode there of the Royal Revolt Two. Little critical thinking. All about that hero, son. Take care. We'll see you next time.